Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and today we're going to be reviewing the Boots Super Premium Series PLA. You ready? Go. Ah, welcome back. If you hear some strange sounds, it's because something's printing on the G-Max printer right here, and it's... Well, it's, it's roughly a 30-hour print, so I'm not going to stop it in order to talk. So if you hear any funky printer noise, that's where it's coming from. Also, big thanks to the Nerd Machine for this sweet shirt. I like it. It's comfy. Well, let's get into it. So I was contacted by Boots Industries to review their Super Premium Series PLA. And here it is. So this is their black PLA. It comes sealed in, in uh, the plastic. Let me find my knife. I couldn't find my knife, so I, I used some some pliers, whatever. All right, here's the box. It's, it's a really nice box and it's got 3D printer filament on it. It lists the color and the size and it tells about how it's ecologically friendly, no recycled parts. Look at this, super premium series, less curling and warping. Excellent build platform adhesion and works with virtually any 3D printer. And I'll talk about that in just a, just a second. The box opens from the top. You pull the tab here, and you pull here, and then out comes a fantastic spool of PLA. The desiccant bag is usually in the center here. Let me get that out. It's got a desiccant bag right here. Here's the, the, the roll of filament. It's a cardboard roll. If you notice, it's a little tall. Here's a color fab roll, and it's, well, it's a little smaller, not as tall, it's a little fatter little fatter. So I'll get to how that comes into play, obviously, but I, I want to first talk about this. The, the color, the initial color that you notice on this PLA is, is brilliant. It's a very deep and rich color. It, it looks good. It, it prints, well, hopefully it prints well. Here we go. So it tells me this, the print temperature it needs, 190 to 230 degrees centigrade. It gives me the lot number, and there's the website, Boots Industries, made in the USA. It's well, the filament looks good on this roll, plus there's something it includes. Along with the filament and the desiccant little sack of stuff, you get a big Ziploc baggie. And that's so when you're not using your filament, you can just put it in here and seal it up. And what's nice is because this is a bigger, taller, skinnier roll, it didn't fit the standard Ziplocs that I had laying around the house. So for, for them to include a Ziploc baggie, that's, well, that's pretty fantastic. I did some printing with it and I'm, I, well, let me first, let me start with what I really like about this filament and I'll show you in the models that I printed. So here's a TARDIS and here's a Pikachu. I printed this obviously in the blue PLA and the Pikachu in the yellow PLA. The, the layering is, is well. Uh, it's a little bit stringy, but that's just because of the settings I used in Simplify 3D. The color is consistent and very, very robust throughout. It looks, it looks really good. The color is fantastic. As far as the print quality goes, let's get to that in just a second. Well, here's the Robber Rex I printed, and, and it, looks, it looks good. It, it printed in this orientation, and Sometimes I can't tell where the layers are. It printed it, I think it's 0 0.2, 0 0.2 layer heights. This Nefertiti bust, this printed at 0 0.1 millimeter layers. And, and it's, it's amazing. Here on this cheekbone right here, I can't tell where one layer starts and the next layer ends. The, the detail that it was able to produce is wonderful. So this filament, well, it prints pretty well. Why did I say pretty well? Let me show you. I printed these meshing gears. This one's in Color Fab, and this one is in Boots Super Premium Series PLA Green. I find that Color Fab is the closest analog to the Boots filament. This turns just fine. Everything inserted very well. It's a good gear. This one turns fine. Everything inserted well. However, it didn't have the structural integrity and something snapped on it. I didn't treat this any differently than the color fab gear. It just so happens that it didn't, it didn't have the strength to, to withstand being put into this hole. There were four slots altogether and three of the four worked just fine. 
It could have been just something with the printer. It could have been a, an air bubble. It could have been anything that caused it, but it's a result. And so I just, I just wanted to tell you about that. Oh, I almost forgot. Look, I printed a Bulbazar. Planter. Yeah, look at it. It's smooth. It feels good. It's Bulbazar. Hey, Boots, you did a good job with your super premium fillant printing this Bulbazar planter. I will plant something and it will grow. One of the tests for filament I did before was uh, Ray's Blaster from Star Wars The Force Awakens. And this is the Protopasta Coffee PLA. And it's, it's a decent print. And you remember, I would used four different filaments and I found that they all performed fairly equitable. And that's the same case with Boots Super Premium PLA. Here, I, I printed it. All <laughs> the pieces are in a Ziploc baggie. That's nice. Oh, someone wrote on it. When you have kids, they write on things. It looks, it looks, it looks fine. It doesn't, here's the interesting part. It doesn't look any better or worse than any of the other blasters that I printed. The color is great, but I got fantastic color as well from other filaments. So, so, so would I say Boots is better or worse than any other of the filaments that I've used? No. As far as I'm concerned, Boots Super Premium PLA prints just like the four other filaments I used in the filament test. Here's a couple other things I found interesting. One, when you go to the website to order the filament right now, when I just tried it on the website, it was $28.99 US for a roll of filament. That's not too bad for a, a, good, a good filament. It's that, with the bag and the, the nice roll. Uh, the problem is the cheapest shipping option I could find to my home was $12.75 US. That's an extraordinary amount of money to pay for shipping, which then puts the roll over $40. And this roll of filament is not worth the surcharge. Also, when you, when you get this filament, uh, you, you have to make sure that you have a spool holder, which most printers do. On my G-Max printers, they have a roller, so it sits in a cradle and it rolls. But because it's so tall and because it's so wide, when the printhead moves back and forth, it rocks, it rocks. And this fell off while I was actively printing something. And because the spool is cardboard with hot glue holding it together, it didn't withstand the impact of all of this filament hitting the ground and that filament caused it to burst open. And now I have a bunch of filament without a roll. All things considered, yes, it's still wonderful filament and as long as I put it on something that rolls okay, I, I can still use it. In fact, look at that. Ever wanted, it's like an arm bracelet. I look awesome. I've told you about what I liked about the filament and to recap, I thought that it printed just as well as the other filaments I reviewed. And the other filaments I reviewed printed just as well as this Boot Super Premium series. Uh, there, was, there was no difference in the print quality as far as I could discern. You may have a different experience, but as far as I was able to tell, the print quality was the same. I did find that the Boot Super Premium Series PLA had wonderful, robust, deep, rich color, and it reminded me of the colorants in the ColorFab series of PLA. And ColorFab, to me, always seemed to be the, the brand that used a very deep, rich color. Boot's industry seems to be very similar in that they use a very deep, rich colorant in their filaments. So if it prints the same as ColorFab and it looks the same as ColorFab, I would say that that color fab is probably the the analog to the boot sumer premium pla just to give you an idea as far as what was bad well one shipping is an extraordinary amount which puts the filament at a price outside of what i consider fair to pay for filament so i won't pay for this filament unless i can get a discount on the shipping the shipping will go down essentially the more you order and the price goes down the more you order. If you order two rolls, you get a dollar discount. If you order four rolls, you get a discount. If you order 10, 20, 30, you can start bringing the price down and then shipping more than one roll is, is better because then you don't pay as much shipping money per roll. However, if you're just ordering one roll, you're going to pay a lot for shipping and I wouldn't recommend it. Plus, I know I have other printers that have spool holders and I could 
I could rig a spool holder for the G-Max, but as it stands right now, if I were to buy this filament and attempt to use it on my G-Max, I can't. And my G-Max printers are some of my most used printers to date. And if I can't use filament on the G-Max, then there's a good chance I'm not gonna buy it as often. In summary, Boot Super Premium Series PLA is a decent filament. It's equitable as far as the print quality compared to other filaments I've used. The color is rich and deep, and I compare that to ColorFab, which I consider to be the richest, deepest coloring in the filament industry. I find that the rolls aren't perfect for all of the machines that I have, and so it's not as useful to me unless I were to make additions and changes to the machines in order to accommodate the large rolls. Plus the large rolls that they have aren't robust and if they accidentally drop, you're going to be left with a giant filament arm bracelet. Well, that's my filament review for the Boot Super Premium PLA. I hope you found it useful. Please give this a thumbs up if you found it useful. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions that I might be able to answer about the filament. Please subscribe to my channel to be notified of when I do other reviews and, and, and cool things right? Because I do cool things. A big thanks to my patrons over at patreon.com that support me. You can click over there if you want to give me a dollar or more a month to, to say thanks. Again, I don't require any money and I'm going to keep doing this for free as long as I can. And all I ask is that you socially high five me. Don't forget, down in the description are my affiliate links and those help the channel as well. You can shop at Amazon or Printed Solid and now Boots Industries. And anytime you, you shop there through the links down below, I get a small little Scooby snack, and I truly appreciate that. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I, I appreciate it. Let's do this again sometime. As always, high five.